Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Our theme today is simply this, how you say it matters. Let me think about that. Let me try it this way. How you say it matters. Well, that's different. Yeah, how you say it matters. Maybe, maybe the point of the scripture has already been made right there. We can say the right thing the wrong way. And so listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones. How you say it matters. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. An expression, the way something's said, actually impacts the words that are spoken. And good news gives health to the bones. Here's a couple of insights from this passage. Here's one. Joy brings joy, and joy is contagious. If you, if you look a certain way, if you bring joy in what, you're say, in, in what you're saying and how you say it, it is infectious. It impacts other people in a wonderful way. Also, you can bless other people by what you say, but you can also bless other people by how you say it. And, and it's so easy to take a good thing and sour it a little bit with just an attitude or a tone that seems suspicious or accusatory. So be careful of the tone that you use. <clears throat> also, we live in a time where we live in, a, in what I call a bad news world. People seem to like bad news. They certainly like passing on bad news more than they like passing on good news as evidenced by watching almost any kind of news. It's almost fixated on the most minute detail of the negative things that happen in the world. Now, are, is there hurt in the world? Is there pain? Is, is there bad news out there? Absolutely. But we seem to be obsessed with bad news. And so here's a question for you. Uh, do you enjoy bearing bad news? And I know what your response in your heart is. Of course not. But stop and think. Are you quick to pass on good news or bad news? When something kind of sinister or kind of nasty happens out there in the world, are you quick to let the people know about all oh, that bad thing that happened? And maybe we should get more familiar with passing on good news and positive things that are going on around us. And the idea of health to the bones, listen to this, good news gives health to the bones. So in a sense, if you flip that over, bad news starts to kind of deteriorate our skeletal structure, the core of who we are. And it's true, as we fix it on bad news, it impacts our spirit, our hearts. I, I was recently in a setting where there was some worship going on, and there, there was a team leading worship. And uh, on the stage, there were a number of different people. And one of the people on the stage that was singing was radiant. They, there was a smile on their face, but it wasn't a fake smile. It was, it was a, in love with Jesus, filled with worship, just glowing. There was just a presence about them that was just glowing in the presence of God. It was beautiful. And I was drawn to them. In another part of the stage, there was another person singing the exact same song in the exact same words on the same stage. And this person had a sourness to their disposition. I, I don't think they even recognized it. But I found myself not wanting to look on the side of the stage with a sour kind of look, but look on the side of the person who was just radiant with joy. One of them kind of brought me down and one of them lifted up my spirits and they were singing the same words. So how we say it does matter. So here's my encouragement. Check yourself, watch yourself this week. As you say things, are you saying them as graciously as you can? Are you making an effort to bring joy within what you express wherever you can. Now, if there's hard things to say in a tough situation, then don't fake it. But in life in general, I think we can bring more joy than we do. So listen one more time to this passage as you continue on in your week. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. It has power. And good news gives health to the bones. Will you pray with me? Lord, may we be good news people. May we be the kind of people that when we have something positive to share, we do it in a positive way. And we have something tough to share. We even try to do that in the most encouraging, positive way we can. Remind us that, that joy is contagious. And may we be bearers of that joy, sharing it with others freely. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you today. If you're part of Shoreline Church, uh, thank you for joining us for this short time of reflection. We'll hope to see you on Sunday morning at 9 or 11. If you're part of another local church, be part of the body of Christ. It'll bring life to your soul. Have a great week.